Greetings. Hi, this is Rusty Dog, um, and I am here in the System 69 Lambda Eridani. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit of a different video in that it's more of an exploration thing. Now I have been here before uh, in a previous video, um, and it was really nice when I came here so I thought I'd come here again only took me just over 20 minutes to get here um, I'm not quite sure how far I am away from home actually I think it's something like a thousand light years more or less no 800 800 light years now I don't plan on going all the way back um, another 20 23 24 jumps whatever it is 23 I think um, because I just can't be bothered. It's beta. I might as well just self-destruct. <clears throat> so, why are we here? Well, let's take a look at the system map. The new system map. That, well, I say the new. The bugged system map. So ignore these black circles for now as they are bugged. Now, this is kind of uh, strange. It's uh, It's got... Uh, unexplored and first discovered by so that means it, it looks like it's held the data over from 2.1 but in order for me to get these uh, planets coming out here these stars coming out sorry uh, yeah <laughs> they are all stars um, in order for me to do that I had to come here and do a system uh, a, a system scan because when I was in the galaxy map, it came across like this, where the system map was unavailable, there was no system data, which is weird considering I've already been here, um, and so therefore I would have scanned this system before. So I don't know whether that's just a, a beta thing or, or what. So why 69 Lambda Eridani? Hmm. Well, it's because, you may have seen, it has a ringed t Tauri star. And since I came here last, I know that graphics have improved on uh, maybe the asteroids and stuff like that. So I thought I'd come here and have another look. So I've got it targeted. So I'm going to make my way down there, and uh, we'll check it out. It's not going to take too long to get there. And I'm thinking of doing a video directed to Frontier, really, about the, uh, the HUD and the UI, and changes I think that could be made to make to improve it particularly when you press uh, the whatever key you press to do an FSD system jump and you have that new dialogue um, UI element in the middle of the screen popping up um, I think the novelty of that for me has worn off now and uh, I think we can get rid of it really because a lot of the information in there, I would say 60-70% of the information that's in there is repeated. But we'll come back to that at a later date. Let's check this out. A T Tauri star with rings, and I'm going to go in right on the opposite side of the uh, shadow there. I want this to be as bright as possible. Now, before I jump in, I just want to have a look and see if it see if the system map breaks down the rings for me yeah it does so it's basically just rocky and the mass is so big <laughs> it can barely fit on the side of the screen there uh, and it looks like it's something like 720 kilometers uh, in width which is uh, yeah, you can see there's there's a lot going on. So let's let's jump into this white band in the middle here, or bright band. It's not exactly white, 
um, because we've got the we've got the light from the local star plus the, well <clears throat> I was going to say plus but there isn't a plus is there because it's a single light source so let's just carefully go in here let me just take pips off the engines maybe I've got a bit better control over uh, probably not okay I was trying to avoid that, but hey. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to dive in. So, last time I came here, and I don't see any reason why it should change. Uh, oh, why does he keep going over there? Yep, pristine reserves. So if you want to go mining, and you don't mind doing a... Uh, well, I say a 20 minute... Uh, run but it's 20 minutes in this ass because it's got a 45 light year jump range or something along those lines 46.5 so has this changed well I'm not really sure I'll put a link in the video description to the previous video where I came here and maybe you can judge. Let me just dive in here. Because I remember being very, um, well, blown away here. I think the sh there was no shadows last time. I can't quite remember. Let me face out towards the local star. <coughs> See if we can get a different view on this. Oh, <laughs> trust me to f to be in a place where uh, it's I'm blocking it out. There we go. So the views are pretty cool. I mean, either way you face, it's foggy, whatever you want to call it, misty. Well, I don't know, not mist, but well, whatever. Let's just say you don't have uh, infinite vision. But it does look pretty cool. Now I've got my hard po uh, my fire groups on. Oh well, I did have. I had it so that these orange bars on either side were not visible but it doesn't want to do that now let me see if I can do this no they're still there damn okay ah now they're gone it's weird that yeah weird So, yeah, I just wanted to come here and uh, let you know that this ex even existed. Um, a ringed star. And how cool it looked. So, let's take a look. I mean, look at this. Look at these visuals. It's pretty cool. Especially when you get the light just coming from a, a certain spot. Like I've got it coming out of the right-hand side now from here. So, let's have a look outside I think we're pretty safe I think when I do go deep space exploration um, that doesn't make sense does it I think when I do go deep space exploring I will um, change the livery of this ship I want something that's going to stick out in, the, uh, in amongst everything to make some decent screenshots So let's just bask in the glory for a few seconds. Actually, I just wanted a few seconds to <laughs> blow my nose. I might have another cold coming on. I don't know what's happening to me. It's really nice. I mean, you've got the you've got the 
it, it appears anyway, even though there's only one light source in the game, which I'm assuming just comes from the local star. Oh, I don't know how they, how they work it. But we've got the white from the from the main star. But you can see that the let's call it fog for now is purple or dust, it's probably interstellar dust. It's purple, which would tie in nicely with the colour of the star. Now we've got some of these rotating and some of them not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this running uh, for a couple of minutes and we'll speed it up and take a look. Well, there we go, that's what it looks like. <laughs> I want to get back in the ship now. There we go. So, 69 Lambda Eridani. 800 light years away from Shinrata Desra. Less than a thousand light years. So if you have a ship with a 40 plus jump range, or you don't mind waiting uh, a little bit longer if you've got a sh shorter jump range then come out here look at those two what look like stars right there in between those two asteroids right in the middle yes rusty as if boosting is going to get you closer to them but look i don't think they're stars in this system they might be because there's a few here I would have to target them all in the systems panel to find out. Assist off. assist off impact. Oh, lovely. As long as I don't lose my shield, I'm, uh, I'm fine. But that's really handy information for me. Because if I do this on a big exploration trip, I know I can heat, hit an asteroid at a decent whack and my shields are still gonna survive even though I'm on two pips. That's kinda cool. Right, where's the actual planet that it's... It's not a planet! But of course I'm conditioned to think it is because it's always a planet you're going around when you're in a asteroid field or whatever you want to call it. A ring, a ring. Are, are they asteroids? I'm not sure. Anyway, but yeah, we are, these. this is a star that we're going around. I have to remember that. Yeah, of course the capacitor's down because I think I, I changed that. I think I've already upgraded this to an, an A-rated capacitor. Let's see if I can find out before I smash into something. Distributor, sorry. Yeah, it's a 4A now. Ooh. I don't think I'm going to get close enough to... Uh, I'm not going to get close enough to... to the star, obviously. But what we can do... Let me just give me four pips. I don't think four pips to shields. Four pips to shields, I didn't put them there to to charge the shield up quicker because that doesn't work. I um, I did it so that if I hit anything else, I've got maximum protection. Well, let's just go up a little way. One more boost, I think. And then we'll just point. I'm still mass locked. I just want to go up just so I can get out of mass lock and see if I can uh, see what kind of risk I can take here. I'm hoping to be out of mass lock fairly soon. Okay, so we're out. I'm just going to let this uh, 
let, let this ship climb a little bit further and then engage super cruise and point down at the star oh don't make me do that thank you I should have been upside down really oh wow I had to slow that down really quickly now let's see if we can get I didn't do this last time but if I can get right to the edge here and just coming right on the edge of the uh, of where the rings end where they thin out Oof. I can just see them there there we go so now we've got the star really close up and I'm just keeping an eye on my temperature there which was at 72 let's go in there seems to be less fogging here there seems to be no fogging here actually <clears throat> let's just jump right down we're back under mass lock now shadows are much the shadows on the asteroids are much much darker now they're much more re refined and black they're not like that washed out black we saw in the in the foggy areas but no no fogging here and there of course oh yeah I remember f uh, being here there's there's a good few galaxies galaxies no nebulas nebulae of uh, visible from here um, balance loop there and Orion Nebula and that but there are others Again, it's, I, I managed to hide it behind a... Yeah, if you can get the local star into view, it, it's just a place to come to that's got some nice visuals. And uh, I dropped on it by chance <coughs> um, when I did my last exploration trip and uh, I have to say I was blown away at the time what the hell Where am I? yeah I was blown away at the time I thought wow look at this a ringed star yeah you see look at these stars here that some of these look at the colors here they've got to be in this system right I mean we've got we got four purples, <laughs> two oranges, another purple and a red, and something that I haven't discovered myself yet. Oh, look at this shot here. Look at that shot. That's gorgeous. I'm going to sc screenshot that, which is why it's just freeze-framed. Just taking a high-def screenshot of that. That's going to take a little while, yeah. Wow. <clears throat> it's all those... I mean, going from the middle-ish, just a bit to the left, you've got two yellows, then a purple, then going further right, we've got a, a white, it looks like a white dot and a purple dot, and then further right again, past the lens flare effect thing, we've got another red red one and then three whitish ones and then another yellowy whitish one next to the local star and then the local star itself and another yellow one down here that looks on the galactic uh, core or center um, just above it looks incredible let me just uh, pop into I don't need to do it on the system map do I? but if we do it from here and by just target oh sorry didn't want you 
Yeah, this is the this is the problem. We've got um Oh hello. Yeah, there you go. Only five hundred and seventy three light seconds away. Lambda Eridani four. And that message shouldn't really come up. Detail scan complete. Fine. Available materials listed in system map for landable bodies. No. We don't need that. It should say that only on only when you scanned a landable planet land uh, planets bo or body scanned or whatever planetary body scanned or landable landable planet scan or landable body scanned um, and then it should say about listing materials don't tell me when you've done it on a star because it doesn't make sense oh, we can we can map it looks like we can map these things from here even this one so these are all the other stars in the system just just there right in front of us this is one of the best views I've seen I have to say you've got that fogginess underneath you've got the main star which is a an O star and then you've got all the other stars all visible from here because I'm way back on Lambda Eridani 5 can we scan this? not quite what if we jump forward a little bit? no <laughs> of course I'm uh, just <laughs> yeah just let you imagine you just like a I don't know, like a few meters away from being able to scan it. Um, that's probably Lambda Eridani 1 then. So what's what's this one? Yeah, if they're big enough, they will scan from... It depends on their size, obviously. So that one is... Well, we'll see what it's going to be. Come on. Come on, little TDK logo. Keep spinning. Okay, so that's Lambda Eridani 7. Do we have to have this message? Imagine when you're exploring now. That Just detail scan complete is enough. Available materials listed in system map for landable... It, that message really should only come up when you're when you scanned a landable planet, I think. Anyway, so that's number seven. So that must be here, because this is ah, oh, look at this. Yeah, landable. Right, it's right next to the big orange, and next to the big purple with the rings. That might oh, I've got to land here. We've got to come here. Right, so we'll leave here, and like I said, this is just awesome. Let's just pop outside before we leave. I mean, is this not a whole load of screenshots just waiting to happen? It looks incredible. <clears throat> Where's my... Uh... There you go. Oh, this is, a, this is one good reason to bring a gold ship. <laughs> is you get that lovely bright uh, reflection coming off there oh, I wish the anti-aliasing was better on this I mean, just bear with me a, a second I'm just going to see if there's any graphics options here unless I can do it from the NVIDIA control panel maybe alter something <clears throat> in there. See, my anti-aliasing is set to here. If I if if I up this, it's really going to cause some bad stuff. Let's put this to high just while we're here. If I up this so that everything's twice the size, I mean, 
changes will not take place until the next loading screen. I'll do it anyway. Oh, God. Is it me or does that look even worse? I don't know. I'm just trying to get... It seems it's very difficult to get rid of the... Uh, at least for me. Very difficult to get rid of the jaggedy lines. Let's try... I know SMAA is where I want to be. Let's try whatever that is. Times 4 ML... I don't, I don't know what ML is. <gasps> Ghastly, isn't it? All those alias lines. <clears throat> Horrible. Okay, let's forget it. We'll just go back to where I was. Mm, Anti-aliasing SMAA. I think I am at the max here. The only thing I did... Uh, where's the other medium setting here? Depth of field. Yeah, I'm not really a depth of fieldy. I'm not into overdone bloom or overdone depth of field or overdone reflections. It doesn't do it for me. I probably do need to reload. Can we do it? Let's quickly do that. <coughs> You know what, I'm going to... No, I'm not. I was going to say I'll go back into the Mobius group, but I'm not going to be plotting my way back, so there's no point. I will die here in 69 Lambda. Let me just stick the frame rate on. I don't have any issues with frame rate, really. Where is that local star? There it is. So, yeah, it's kind of a screenshotty, a good screenshotty place here. Some great views. I remember last time I was here, I just went, I was at the top of the asteroid field and I just went straight through. I call it an asteroid field because it's asteroid belt or ring, I don't know, whatever. Whatever. <coughs> I'm not going to be a fickler for uh, the correct terminology right now. So we've just gone right through, I think. So let's make... Oh, I've lost my... Uh, of course I've lost my tracking now. I can't remember if I landed here last time. But one thing is for sure... And that is, oh, go away. And that is the uh, surface textures. Planetary surface textures um, in 2.2, specifically up to beta 7 here, trust me, um, are amazing. They've, they've increased the definition somehow once again. And I, I did notice this in a few places where... Um, I, when I've been, you know, close to the ground, it's 95%. What the hell was that all about? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the planet surfaces are so detailed now. If they can keep tweaking that even further, wow. Right, now we'll see the planet rendered. I believe the way it's supposed to work in the system map is that you come into the system that's been unex that's unexplored. You get the local star and nothing else because you haven't done a, a scan. Then you do a discovery scan, a, a system-wide scan, and then you get the thumbnails like this, and these black ones shouldn't exist. 
that the that the surfaces should appear as thumbnails like everything else. But if you want to go into here and see the map itself, then you're going to have to detail scan it. And I think that's how it should work. This looks like a very boring blancmange planet. But let's see. We'll go, we'll pop there. I've got a feeling that the colour um, is going to be a bit different, and it looks like it is. It looks pink in the system map, but then you've got the... Well, I was going to say the light from the... Uh, <clears throat> from the other planets in this uh, blur from the other stars in this system but I'm not even sure it's even doing that but it looks like I mean it is it has got that purple tint on it so let's land on that dark spot I am gonna take her down in fact am I no I'm gonna take her I am gonna take her down but I want to take her down in a place where I can see, so there's all the other stars, look. Now where's the place we just came from? That's up here, can we see it pretty well? We can, cool, okay. <clears throat> so as long as I don't lose that. Oh, I think I've lost my place now, I don't know where the hell I am. I'll get there, don't worry. Not you. Ooh, wait. <laughs> How can I be so close to a planet and not be able to... Right, now can we just... Whiz? Now, the grey one is the one that I... Okay, fine. So I'm going to bring it in vertical. This looks very, very smooth though this planet surface up to up to now and just as I hit orbital cruise I'm hoping it will let me just twiddle around orbital flight engaged. yep and get something like I don't know 45 degrees if I can get it anywhere near the crater Yeah, it's not the most exciting of planetary services, which uh, which doesn't really uh, tie in with what I've been saying about improvements to planetary services. But believe me, they have. The, it is it is more detailed than in 2.1, and the transition between the detailed services surfaces and the not so detailed as you pull out. The level of detail is uh, is smoother now than it was before. I haven't seen any popping, really. You see it's starting to come in there. Look, we're getting more and more detail. Now I can probably do a boost, but I couldn't do it vertically down. I'll see if I can land on my shadow. <laughs> Somehow I think I'm bound to do that. Okay, I've just realised that the gravity is 1.8. <laughs> Why didn't I notice that before? Again, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm not destroyed, it's absolutely fine. I don't, in like I said, I'm not intending to, uh, to go back with this ship. I'm going to be self-destructing here anyway. Now you know that we've got that J, well for me J, press X to abort when you do a system jump and I've been complaining, oh they don't hold your hand, let's, you know, please don't hold our hand with, uh, with key presses being displayed on the screen, it's hand holding and all that. And I'm sticking with that. However, this message ship secured hold joy 4 or r to launch i think that needs to stay and i'll tell you for why because and probably for the newbies actually and maybe there should be a menu 
uh, in the uh, menu, an option in the menu called hand holding or assists or message assists or hints. Hints, there you go. Hints. There should be an op option in here uh, in the control uh, in graphics uh, for hints. Okay, after pilot gender, you have a thing for hints, and inside there, you have next to the hints, there's a plus next to it, and then you can click that plus, and you've got not that. I'll show you in the audio here. Okay, so let's say ship voice volume, okay? How is that? How is that a plus? Yeah, okay, so you click plus, and now you've got all these different options underneath, like um, show the launch hint, show the FSD hint, and you should be able to turn those on and off as you want, because the reason I'm saying this one should stay is because when you're on a planet, uh, when you're not on a planet, when, when you're on a, a space station instead, it launches for you, basically. The ship, the ship uh, comes away from the launch pad for you. And all you've got to do is retract the landing gear, um, which you'll notice it doesn't tell you press, it doesn't handhold you in that particular thing. And then out you go. Whereas here, you have to press the up button. Oh, crap. And maybe people don't realize that, newbies. So maybe this should be here. But for those who do know it, you know, I mean, once you've played Elite for a while and once you've landed on planets a few times, you get to know this button and you don't need it anymore. So maybe there should be a hint in the display options that we can turn off these press this or hold this button to do this. I don't need it. Uh, I would say probably the vast majority of elite players don't need it. So why do we have it? I'd like to get rid of most things that obscure line of sight, including that central UI element when you're FSD jumping. But I'll probably do a video on that and tell you my thoughts um, and how I would probably change it. For example, uh, things like, I can't really explain it without a cursor, a mouse pointer, sorry, not a cursor, a mouse pointer. For example, on the right hand side there of my hood, you can see where the fuel and the pips are. Now look how high up it is. Now first we have real estate underneath that's being unused, so you can put stuff under there. And secondly, if you look how high the pips and the fuel um, element is, then you go to the left-hand side and look at the planetary information where it says 69 Lambda, Redani, da 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 Anarchy, all that. That's lower down. So that could be raised a little bit. Um, half of it can be raised to give an extra line underneath. Where it says t Tauri Star, we, let's have another line. And the information that goes in there is the... Uh, security of the system that you're jumping to and whether you're clean or wanted and put it there instead of right in the middle of the screen all the other information in the middle of the screen is repetitive like which system you jump into it tells you there on the left the jump range it tells you there on the left so it's kind of redundant really if you do a little bit of tweaking on the UI that central element, which now pops up in 2.2, .2, is really kind of redundant. Let's get the SRV out. If you're bored, this is the time you can turn the video off, by the way. <laughs> I just wanted to show you the, uh, the ring star that was here. And I've, and I've done that, and I haven't plugged in my bloody... Oh, I never do, I never do, I never do. Hopefully, because it wasn't plugged in, it hasn't forgotten all my controls. No, good. 
Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It depends how it feels. Right, so what can we see from here without looking up? Anything? Well, there's a an asp there. Does it have turbo in the engines of that ship? No. It's naturally aspirated. Sorry, sorry. So, uh, oh, I tell you what, I'd like to do, but I don't think I've got. No, you need a. Well, you need speed, and you need a bump. Something you can jump off, and you need timing to be able to. Come on! Ah, oh, see. It deliberately won't let you do it. I want to jump on the back of the ship and... Uh, oh, 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 we have a dip. Apart from me. Right, look at that surface. You see what I mean about the detail? Now my hand breaks on. Why am I still moving? Look at that detail. Why is my... Why is it moving? The handbrake is on. I'm not really on a... What the hell's going on here? Right, let's just look, 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 look. Oh. That is much better definition detail, isn't it? Than, than before. Look at that. And this is on a planet that looked as flat as, that, as an absolute pancake before, when we were coming in. But look at this. They really, really have improved it really well. So, got to give them props for that. Brilliant. Right, let's see if we can do this. How about, how about pressing the boost button instead of the handbrake button? That would be an idea. It looks like it's white on the underside of the ship, doesn't it? But it's not. It's, it is gold. Okay, let's see if we can come at it with some speed. I'm just playing around here. Oh! You see, the game now, what, what they've done is, it kills the, the boost automatically when you're near the ship. It never used to. Needs to just stop the turret from coming out, but now it, it actually actively kills the boost. But it's not to say it can't be done, because it can, because I've done it. But you need a good bump, a bump. Oh, so close, so close, and yet so far. Ah, I'm screwed. You see this. This is an error. They shouldn't have. They shouldn't have done this, because the only way I can get out of this is to boost, and I can't boost because I'm too close to the ship. So now I'm screwed. So Frontier, give us boost facility back when we're next to the ship. Yes, we're going to play around and jump on top of other people's ships, but hey, so what? I'm, I am literally. I'm stuck here now. I'm screwed. Actually, I'm not screwed. I am not screwed. But, I could have been. Well, how, where am I? It does look white underneath my ship, doesn't it? Where's all that lovely gold? Is it white underneath? I've never noticed it before. I thought it was gold all round. I kind of like that it's white and gold, and if it is, that's pretty cool. If that is gold, that looks... It's not, it's... I'm shit. I'm sure it is gold all round. Why has my ship gone white? Uh, well, that's all white, isn't it? Look at this. Bloody hell. God. Right. Oh, obviously, the way around this is to just press a button and dismiss the ship. And now I can boost. But now I've lost my ship, so I can't jump on top of it. <coughs> so 
So anyway, yeah, let's look up and see if we can see. Uh, can't really see it from here. I'm looking for the the planet we were on, even though we weren't on one. God, how many mistakes can I make in a bloody video? Um, I'm looking for the star that we were at, Lambda Eridani 5. I'm sure if I just look up and twiddle myself around like this. Well, there's the local star, so it's got to be... Let's have a look this way. Mm, there it is. So it's the other way, it's the other way around. There it is. A ringed star, pretty cool. <clears throat> I think it's the, probably the first and only one I've ever seen. Now, wave scanner. Is it working? Yes, there is something there. Let's go and see what it is and then we'll we'll die. We'll kill ourselves. Or at least we'll destroy the ship. And I should end up back at Shinny. Well, maybe not. Yes, I will. I will I should end up at Shinrata Desert. I think that was the last place I docked at. Remember the gravity. The wheels look like they've got grooves in them from here, don't they? Big grooves. The, the tyres, not the wheels. Yeah. I just had a feeling that my ship was not going to do too well at that speed. Again, just pointing it out, look. Look at the surface. Now I've used the boost instead of the handbrake. <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong with me today? <laughs> oh, I need to be uh, probably in a home. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fantastic work here on the uh, on the surface. Really, really good. Good definition. Much better than I've ever seen it. I'm hoping that the icy, snowy planets are as good as they, they ever were because icy snowy planets were always really well, not all of them but some of them you could get on on them and they actually looked like proper sheet ice it looked amazing I hope that's not been lost and I hope quite the opposite I hope it's been improved on I'm just going to check what this is can see it. Uh, 800 light years I have travelled for some bronzite crondite. And what do we get from that? Wow. I really got the good stuff. Okay, time to wrap this all up then. So yeah, there it is, 69 Lambda Eridani Astronomical Body Number 5. Isn't that a song? No. What is that song I'm thinking? Oh, that's Mambo Number 5, yeah. Well, Lambda Number 5 then. <laughs> oh yeah! Lambda, Lambda number five, and it was by Lou Vega, wasn't it? And Vega is a star. Ah, oh, never mind. I don't mean a star as in a celebrity, but it does look like my ship is white underneath. Now I don't know. I'll have to find out when I'm up there in, in, the, in, the, in the vastness of space. Well, come on then, bring it in. If, I, if you go underneath your ship now, she won't land. Look, there go the, the legs. Yeah, if you just if I just raced underneath my ship now, it wouldn't land. It would take off and, and piss off back into orbit. No, 
Nice. Even a little bit of compression there on the legs. Which you should see a doctor about if you have that. Right. Ugh. Right, so what's the best way to die? Well, we could we could come down onto this planet surface so hard, we could go back into the asteroid belt and smash into an asteroid. We could go into the sun. Well, let's do it on the planet while we're here. We'll just do... We'll, I wonder if we can super cruise... No, we can't. Ah, these wicked thoughts. Point the nose down and just hit super cruise and just... So let's go up a couple of kilometers. And it's let's do it here because we've got 1.8 gravity so... This is going to be quick, a very quick death. So let's point it vertically down and... And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.